Hi there, it's Wade McMaster here. In today's video, I'm going to show you very quickly how we can create a bit of a template and create a design for uh, basically our Twitter header image in Photoshop. Now, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you're basically creating an image that is 1500 pixels wide by 500 pixels tall. However, there is this image of the ID photo overlapping. Now, on phone, it also overlaps, but it actually sort of covers less of the image. So, uh, we're going to try and set it up so that, that way we're in a safe zone regardless of what device we're on. Now, you're going to notice I've got this here and I've, I've got a, like a test account that we'll upload this to to test later. But uh, basically, if I head to Photoshop, you see I've taken a screenshot here. I'm going to go over this process in a minute. But we've got the idea that we have these guidelines here so that when I turn them off, just invert that for a sec. We know we can put whatever information we want in here. But generally speaking, it's good to sort of keep the information fairly central, not get too wordy in Twitter because I think sometimes these images can get uh, cropped and move around a bit, not too sure. They tend to change the interface a little bit, but um, this is just something to, to give you an idea that if you do want to put some information or something visual in there, it's not going to get covered by your ID photo. Now, I'm going to set this up as a template you can download on a blog post so if you want that that'll be a link in the description below but otherwise uh, we'll basically show you how to set it up yourself so the idea is we're going to go to a new image here now it's already pre-existing here but we want to go 1500 pixels by 500 pixels so 1500 pixels wide by 500 pixels tall and we're going to hit create for that i'm just going to invert this to make it black once again it's easier to see the guidelines up the top i'm going to go to view and I'm going to go new guide. Now I've got the vertical position here. I want to make that 380, so 380 pixels. And that comes in from the left 380 pixels. And I'm going to then go to, now this isn't the actual size that is on screen because it does get shrunk, but this is the recommended resolution so that uh, it sizes better on all devices. Next one we want to do is go to view, new guide, this time I'm going to go horizontal, and we're going to go 285. It will bring it from the bottom up 285 pixels. And this is the area that our image appears in. So now if I actually import a little bit of information, so I'm going to import some images. I'm going to go place, um, we'll create this, get this stone background. Dial this down a little bit. Now, I've been using this one a lot in a couple of videos recently, but uh, let's say I get this um, little head image here. Maybe I pop that in there for whatever reason. Now, let's say I'm happy with the neck here getting covered a little bit, the ear not so much, and then let's say I want to put some info. So I'm going to say test profile. So, you know, we created a design. Now, obviously this isn't a great design because, uh, you know, you kind of want to have your logo there, a few bits and pieces, but just for the sake of the video, this just, it's a very quick way of showing you that you can set this up so that it dodges this whole area. If anything, because it's a circle, it should pretty much miss that head almost entirely. So I've got test profile here. Actually, I might even just, let's just make that a bit bigger. Now, if you do want some tutorials on how to use Photoshop, for basic edits and things like that for design. Let us know in the comments below and I'll go through in detail a little bit more of these movements. I'm focusing more on the template itself here. So let's say we've got our design done, good to go. And now obviously we've got no information here. And even just to demonstrate, I'm gonna grab my brush tool and I'm gonna actually draw just some yellow lines. It's gonna be, it's not gonna be attractive, <laughs> but it'll just sort of show you, it'll give you an idea of where we end up. So we can see exactly what we're looking at. So this is our profile. We've got our lines here in place. Now I'm actually going to go and I'm going to save this image just so we can have a look at it. And now I'm going to bring up another Twitter profile I have here. And I'm going to go edit profile and I'm going to change this image. Okay, so the image there, I can crop it in a little bit if I want to, but the way I've designed this template, I kind of don't want to do that. So I'm going to hit apply, save. And you'll notice 
circle has actually dodged. We've got a little bit of space there, which is good. You can see that we've actually managed to dodge that circle and all the information is being shown. And you can see by these yellow lines that everything is cropped just nicely. So that's sort of, I guess, a little bit of proof on how it works. But uh, it gives you an idea of how that... So, so simply creating that image, adding those guidelines in, you can now design pretty much freely within that area. So if I turn these yellow lines off, you can see now that, um, or as long as we put all our design in these sort of top three, this top two in this right area here will be fine, keeping no important information there. So that's that's basically it, quick and easy, probably one of the quickest and easiest uh, profile uh, cover images to design. Now, uh, once, once again, the, I will put a blank PSD template of this up so you can download it and use it yourself. So uh, yeah, hit, hit the link in the description below to check that out. Now, obviously it's not the most uh, comprehensive video in the world, but if you did like it, please give the video a like. If you want more videos like this, explaining anything to do with Photoshop or you know, social media, building a website, hit subscribe. Any ideas, let us know in the comments below if there's anything you would like to learn and maybe I can help you by creating a video. So thank you for watching and I hope to speak to you again soon. See you later.